Tonight on Way 31 News at 6, this week marks one year since a tornado left several in Hazel Green without homes. That tornado took the life of one and injured others, leaving lasting effects on the community there. Way 31 reporter Paige Meyer joins us now. Paige, you spent the day in Hazel Green talking to neighbors. You're getting a close look at how things are out there since last year's storm. Nicole, yes, just driving down Borderline Road here, you can still see the aftermath of last year's tornado. I mean, just several homes that were completely leveled, like the one I'm standing in right now. I'm going to take a step aside so you can see a little bit what I'm looking at. All that's left over is the cement. You can see broken glass and bricks, a lawnmower even, just pieces left of what this home used to look like. Now, people in this area say that storms happen here so frequently that they've nicknamed, nicknamed it the Tornado Alley. But despite its nickname, people say that there are there are very little public storm shelters for people to take cover in. Now, Barry, now Benny Barry has been the pastor at Bevel's Church for 37 years. Barry says last year's tornado brought back memories of the 1974 tornado that took, took, took the lives of many 50 years ago today. He was 20 years old when the tornado took his home. Barry says the closest public shelter he knows of is 10 to 12 miles away from this area. He thinks the city needs to add more to protect its people. It would be beneficial, be a blessing to have one in a closer vicinity uh, to where folks could get to it. And so that's something we need to consider within this area. Madison County Commissioner Tom Brandon says they have been working to add more storm shelters to the county. He says two or three locations have already been identified, but now they're working to secure funding for the new shelters. Now, as far as where these shelters are going, whether they're going to be here in Hazel Green or somewhere else in the county, I am working to get that information and will bring it to you as I get it both on air and online at waytv.com. Reporting live in Hazel Green with coverage you can count on. Paige Meyer, Way 31 News.